I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some test problems on trigonometry. Subject is Advanced Functions MHF 4U Grade 12. Now let us take some application questions which are from question number 5, 6, 7 and 8. We will discuss question number 8 in this particular video. The question before us is consider a pendulum 3 meter in length with pivot point 5 meter above ground level. The given graph shows how the angle from the vertical of the pendulum changes over time. Determine the period, maximum and minimum values for the function of height of the pendulum above the ground with respect to time. Show your calculations or show your reasoning. Okay, You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. I think we should go through this question once again. It says Consider a pendulum 3 meter in length with pivot point 5 meters above the ground. So let me sketch this. So let's say we have a pendulum which is 3 meter in length, but this height is uh, from the ground 5 meters. So approximately, let's say that's the ground for us, correct? So what we have here is 3 meter is this and 5 meter is that height. That's the position given to us. The given graph shows how the angle from the vertical of the pendulum changes over time. So the graph here is, that's the angle, right? So pi by 6, pi by 3, it goes maximum pi by 3. And that's the time period, which seems to be 2 seconds. So basically, what is happening here is that the pendulum will move like this. Is that okay? So the two extreme positions for the pendulum are making an angle of pi by 3. So that is that is what it is, right? So let us consider the negative part will be going towards left, positive towards right, right? Any case, the maximum angle will be pi by 3. That is what it is. So let's say this angle is pi by 3. Now, determine the period maximum and minimum now the time period is clear so we can write time period t equals to two seconds maximum and minimum values for the function of height of pendulum above the ground with respect to time so so we need to find height above ground that is what we need to find right so basically what happens is as the pendulum moves upwards right so so what will happen the height will decrease kind of like this do you see that so in the normal position height is going to be 5 minus 3 which is 2 meters so that is the height when the pendulum is at its lowest position and the maximum height will be when the pendulum is making an angle of pi by 3, right? So that is going to be the maximum height. Is that okay? So minimum height we can easily write and say minimum height is 2 meters. That is 5 meters minus 3 meters, which is 2 meters, right? Now we need to calculate maximum height. Now maximum height will occur when this angle is pi by 3. So basically, let me draw a bigger triangle here to explain you. So this is our triangle. Okay. Now, so it goes kind of like this. So we get this position. Where the angle given to us is pi by 3. But the length of the pendulum will be 3 meters. Correct? 3 meters. Now for pi by 3, that side will be how much? So we can find this length, let us say this is y, correct? Then we know cos of pi by 3 is y over 3, or y equals to 3 times cos pi by 3, and cos pi by 3, you know, is half, correct? So which is equal to 3 times half, or 1.5, is it okay? So this height, here we get, that the value of y is going to be equal to 1.5, correct? So if value of y is 1.5, the maximum height from the ground, so will be how much? So this, let me complete the sketch here. 
let's say this is the ground okay so it is from here to here it is 5 and now this will be how much it is going to be 5 minus 1.5 correct so we can write down our answer which is maximum height equals to 5 minus 1.5 correct which is 3.5 meters so that is how we can solve this question it's a very interesting tricky question go through it once again try to understand how we've got the solution i hope that helps now i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot and get excellent marks in your test thank you and all the best